The more I sat with this passage, this is the way it spoke to me. And so it spoke to me first, very personally. You're empty. There's nothing else you think you can do with these hands, with these skills, for whatever set of abilities you think you have, but that's okay. Just fill the jar with water one more time. Just do that thing I've asked you to do. Do the last thing I've asked of you. Don't try to look for the next spectacular thing. Just do the last thing I asked you to do. Part of this, every now and then this story, the, the only phrase that rings in my head is what Mary said. Just do what he tells you to do. And I don't think it's just me. I think many of us find ourselves in some fashion in this place. Some kind of burnout, some kind of loss, some kind of confusion, some kind of new shape to life that seems less than or too different than what it used to be, some kind of fear or confusion about the future and what it means. But when the jars are empty and the way forward seems dim, what we're called to do is simply obey and simply believe that Jesus is able. Just do what he's asked you to do. So Jesus takes the ordinary, he takes the leftover and the runouts and turns it into something so much better.